Hey, welcome to the podcast domination show where we help you launch, grow, monetize, and dominate the podcasting space. This is a show where we believe that if you can get attention with your podcast, you can influence someone. And if you can influence someone, you can get them to take massive action. And if you can get someone to do that, you, my friend, can dominate. I'm Luis Diaz, your host and founder of Podcast Domination, and I'm your guide. Let's go. All right, here we go. I think we're we're good. We get the levels going. All right, cool. So today we're going to talk about how to rank higher or get ranked high when you're launching your podcast on iTunes. This is something I get I get asked of this a lot. Um, and the answer to it, guys, not to waste your time here, is nobody knows what they what they like account for exactly. So no one knows exactly what they're looking for in terms of getting their show, your show ranked number one on new and noteworthy or or getting it ranked high period i did have a client last week or the week before and it's on my instagram you can check it out he ranked number 34 on what's hot granted he's got a big audience online on instagram already so he was able to use some of that to really get some good traction and he's in a super niche super niche down topic that people who, who follow him and follow stuff or like that kind of stuff are really, really, um, uh, avid listeners. So, so I think, yeah, I think those two factors, the fact that he's very niche down the fact that he is, uh, has a big following on Instagram and YouTube already helped him a lot. Nonetheless, today we're going to be talking about one key metric that we discussed before we launched the show that I believe was po- partially at least part of his success as to why he got ranked so high. This is one metric that I know for pretty certain, pretty fact, pretty well known fact that um, they use uh, in their logarithm. And that is, drum roll please. Great. Um, that is basically um, subscribes within the last 24 hours. So you want people clicking that subscribe button on your podcast uh, in a short period of time, in that 24 hour period, that's what they're looking for, at least for at least part of it. We don't know if they're looking at downloads. I doubt it really, uh, at least to a certain extent. We don't know how long, if they're looking at like user engagement, how long people are staying and listening to the show. We don't know if they're counting reviews, even though I really doubt it. Maybe they're counting just ratings. So there's a lot of other factors and variables, but we can, I'm pretty certain, and this has also been talked about by guys like Paul Culligan, who's uh, quite the thought leader when it comes to podcasting. So he's a pretty good name to follow. So he talks about this too. Basically, they're looking for at least, you know, he says up to 80%. I don't know if it's that much, but uh, let's just call it 80% of the logarithm is looking at subscribes within those last 24 hours. So why is that important? And why is that? I have some notes written down here. Let's see if we can pull them up. So you can see why is that important? These iTunes rankings are important and why you should matter, why you should care. Um, number one, so obviously if you have a number one ranked show, let's just say a top ranked show, how do you think that plays into when you go to uh, maybe someone to approach them about speaking engagements or you go to or someone reaches out to you for speaking engagement? Obviously, if you have a number one ranked show or a top ranked show, people are going to want to you're going to be sought out as a thought leader. You're going to be looked at differently than if you just had a show that doesn't get that much traction. So as from leverage, being able to leverage the fact that you have a top ranked show could potentially get you higher speaking paid, get high, higher speaking engagements or better paid ones. So that's one factor from a speaking engagement standpoint. Number two, from a coaching consulting standpoint, it's also a very le- leverageable asset to have. If you have a number or top 10 podcasts on iTunes, just like the speaking stuff, you're going to get sought out um, by customers, by clients, by companies who want to do consulting with you. If you look at guys like like um, the guy from, God, what's his name? Sleep Smarter, the author of Sleep Smarter, Sean Stevenson, he gets paid big time money because his show is awesome and it kicks ass and it's one of the top rated health and fitness podcasts out there. Same thing with John Lee Dumas, huge audience on on iTunes, huge uh, following on its podcast. It leads to better paid 
or better, higher paying speaking engagements. So that is important. And obviously that is going to play a big, uh, it's going to impact you in a quite a big way down the road. So those two things, speaking engagements, you're probably going to get looked at faster if you have a higher ranking podcast. Also coaching and consulting, it's going to be there for you when you need it. If your show is getting that visibility, it's you know, always at the top of the charts. You're going to get some people asking you, knocking on your door, asking if you do those kind of things. Last, I will leave here, is your ability to get on other shows. So if you have a top-ranked podcast, it's very easy for you to go to another show whose audience you want to extract and see if you want to see if they can do a dual interview with you. Maybe you guys exchange interviews. You do an interview on their show. They do an interview on your show. So from that standpoint, it's very leverageable to get around the podcasting community. So you can actually dip into other people's audiences, maybe people who haven't heard of your show yet, even though it's top ranked and pull that audience back to your, to your following. For instance, for a case, for perfect example of this, I never knew who Mind Pump was until I heard them on Ben Greenfield's podcast. And I was like, who are these guys? And then I went to go check them out and I saw they're like top ranked podcasts and there you go. So you're able to extract audiences much better uh, because you're able to get yourself in those conversations because you have that really high ranking podcast. People know who you are. It's easier to start the conversation about coming on someone else's show because you're coming from a position of strength. So that is the three things you, as to why this is important. Uh, And now we're going to talk about one way you can, I don't want to say game the system, but one way you can encourage more subscribers per uh, 24 hour period. So if you're launching your show, let's just say next Monday, what do you want to have in place to make sure it starts with a bang, it starts with a boom, people are actually going to want to be excited to listen to it. One suggestion is to launch with a contest. And it's something I do, I like to encourage with everyone who launches a podcast. Find some sponsors, find people who are, who have your customers already. Maybe it's a company you use in your business. Maybe it is, if you're a fitness and health professional, it's a supplement company and partner with them maybe buy some of their products and give them away on your launch your launch week as an incentive for people to subscribe to your show. Uh, and it's we're not going to go into the details in here but you basically want to f- give your audience a reason to listen, subscribe, maybe even rate and review. But at the very least you want them to subscribe. So a contest, how does this work? You could either A Find someone else, find other companies that are going to give you free product or you buy their product and give that away as an incentive to subscribe. That's number one. Option number two would be to give away something you already have of your own. So usually like an ebook is really easy to give away a free copy of some kind of DVD or some kind of video series that you have that's for clients only are easy ways to do this. You can also do free coaching calls. I've seen that happen in the past as well, especially if you're a coach or highly sought after consultant, this is an easy way to get, uh, I mean, it's, it's more, it's harder on your time, but at the same time, it's more value for your customer and you don't have to pay any actual money for it. So, uh, last one I'll throw in there is a shout out. So a guy who did this really well was Noah Kagan, who just basically had a thank you episode where everyone who I think subscribed to his podcast or sent him an email, they got their name shouted out on his show, which is a pretty big show. So that's another way you could do it. Just shout out people's names. Uh, people love hearing their names on podcasts. I know I do. Um, so just a thank, a simple thank you episode could be the incentive for your contest to say, Hey, I will shout your name out on the podcast. So, Some easy ways to start a contest, guys. I want to just give you one way of going about starting your contest and then therefore getting people to subscribe to your show so you can push that higher. Now, I think that is pretty much it. I want to keep this really short. In sum, number one, your iTunes rankings are important. They do flip-flop and go all over the place depending on how many people are subscribing within that 24-hour period. So just keep that in mind. 
as you go along your podcasting journey, it's going to get, it's going to go up some weeks, it's going to go down some weeks. So you always want to be encouraging new listeners, especially to subscribe to your show. Number two, it's very leverageable in the future for when you may potentially have speaking engagements or you may be can you may want to reach out for people for consulting. Uh, these it's just another credibility factor to say, hey, I might have a top 10 show on iTunes, you know, in the business and marketing uh, section. So it's just another leverageable um, credibility factor for you. And then number three Where's it going with that? No, that's number, that's it. Number one, speaking. Number two, coaching, consulting. Those are two big things. Um, like we said before with the contest, give people a reason to give your show a chance and then also give them a reason to hit that subscribe button, which is exactly what I wanted to, want you to do with this podcast. So that's it, guys. Launch your show with a contest. Get people to subscribe to your show so you can get higher in the rankings and... Continue to build your name, build your brand, and enjoy your podcast because everyone likes to do podcasting when they know people are actually listening. Isn't that the truth? So I'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoy this Facebook Live, this Instagram Live, and also this podcast if you're listening to the audio version. Um, either way, subscribe. Check me out on Lewis on Instagram on Lewis Ryan Fit or Lewis Ryan Diaz on Instagram. L-U-I-S, spelled the Spanish way, R-Y-A-N-D-I-A-Z. And I will catch you guys later on all three platforms. Peace. Hey, what's up? It's Lewis again. Really hope you took something of value away from today's show. And don't forget, there's only one thing I want you to do if you need help, if you want to chat about this, if there's any way I can serve you, that is to text or maybe even give me a call at 561-405-7838. That is a Google voice number that goes directly to my phone. So I will be on demand for you and we can chat about how we can help you grow, launch, or monetize your podcast. Thanks. I'll catch you next week.